Hey guys, and you're here for another update from the Ultra News Meteorological Service. So this is update 3 on Hurricane Irma as of 1500 UTC on the 4th of September 2017. Storm's location at 16.8 degrees north, 53.3 degrees west, with winds of 120 miles per hour and a pressure of 944 millibars, movement west-southwest at 14 miles an hour. So the storm is currently a Category 3 hurricane on the South of Simpson hurricane wind scale. Um, the latest summary that I have given you guys is that Hurricane Irma had increased to winds of 120 miles per hour. Hurricane warnings are now in effect and people who have interest or are currently in the Leeward and Windward Islands should be preparing for this storm. The storm is expected to pass as a Category 4 hurricane. Interest in this area should now be preparing and if you can leave the islands then do so. Uh, as this will almost certainly be a major hurricane passing all landfalling on these islands. Um, and uh, also uh, and looking at them as well with the Lesser and Greater Antilles as well and also the Leeward and Windward Islands um, and also the Virgin Islands uh, as well as areas such as Puerto Rico who are also currently under a hurricane wa uh, watch at the moment uh, whereas now some islands are now under a hurricane warning um, which uh, will be as follows the current islands are under a hurricane warning um, so to confirm that under hurricane warning at the moment are Antigua and Barbuda uh, the British West Indies Anguilla and also Montserrat uh, and also the Dutch West Indies of Sabah, Sint uh, Austernis, uh, Sint Martin uh, and also the Fre French West Indies uh, St. Martin and St. Barthélemy um, and also St. Nitz and Nevis Islands are currently under a hurricane warning. Under a hurricane watch at the moment are the British Virgin Islands, uh, Guadalupe, uh, Puerto Rico and the US Virgin Islands and under a tropical storm watch are Dominica. Um, so uh, the meanings with them are that a hurricane warning is that hurricane conditions are expected within 36 hours. Hurricane watches, let's say hurricane conditions are possible within 48 hours. And also under a tropical storm watch, uh, tropical storm conditions possible within the 48 hours. Uh, we also have another disturbance off to the southwest, uh, southeast of the system, sorry, um, which currently has a 30% chance of formation in the next 48 hours. Some computer models are also saying that this storm could actually be something on par with what Irma is at the moment. Uh, only a few sources have said that to us at the present time. Um, but we will keep you guys updated as to what happens as regards that storm um, and also that we are watching um, for the moment uh, to see what will happen uh, as regards Irma um, that is just due to the fact um, that now a lot of the forecasts for the storms um, are now both saying major hurricanes with actually one of the sources um, as regards Irma have actually said that this storm could be a category 4 or maybe even a category 5 hurricane at landfall in the US of A um, but at the moment with the current forecast track it looks as though that there might be a major hurricane landfall onto Cuba um, looking at um, the source I currently have up at the moment um, with wind speeds uh, on the ground levels um, is that at the moment um, with this map here uh, the storm is currently uh, producing winds in excess of 90 miles per hour um, and that this is currently at the 950 HPA which is 500 meters above uh, ground level um, which uh, at the moment are saying that uh, the storm is currently with winds of around about um, say it's uh, hang on uh, so presently the storm is uh, here we go 4 p.m. Um, looking from this source this is saying it's weaker um, however it might just be a bit of a um, screw up on the system there um, Let's wait to see with that. Um, but this system is not validating a Category 3 actually, which is a bit surprising if you ask me. Um, uh, it's actually only validating a. Uh, 
Oh no, here we go. Uh, it's a GFS model, sorry. Um, it's because I had it on the wrong model. Uh, <laughs> so, looking at the moment... Uh, oh, hello. Um, okay, at the moment, with the GFS model, what this is actually now saying, um, with some parts inside the storm, that this could actually be a Category 4 hurricane on the Sapper Simpson scale already. Um, we're looking at... Um, on the 4th of September um, at around about 4 p.m. Um, there is a possible confirmation that this could be a Category 4 hurricane um, but this is only a source, uh, a third party source, not the National Hurricane Center um, which is now saying on some areas of the storm that there's winds of 149 miles per hour um, which is uh, a very high Category 4 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale um, so it is something that we may need to watch out for. Um, but yes, actually, uh, now looking at this source here, uh, within the next, within the next, by possibly even by tomorrow morning, uh, this is now saying that this storm could be just about a category 5 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson wind scale, hurricane wind scale. Um, personally at the moment I wouldn't be forecasting that myself uh, this is just the third party model source that I do have which is saying that this storm could become a category 5 hurricane um, which at this present time with the warmer waters and how the um, how the conditions are around the storm at the moment it really cannot be ruled out that this storm may become a category 5 hurricane on the hur Saffir Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale um, but we will keep you guys updated um, I will I am sorry as well actually this morning uh, that there wasn't an update uh, that's because I had to go straight off to Southampton I wasn't even able to get a mobile update out um, due to signal and Wi-Fi constraints um, so this is the update it's just coming out to you guys now um, but as I say category 5 at the present time cannot be ruled out um, and also is looking more and more likely now um, as uh, with the track that the storm is going to take and how the conditions are around the storm at the moment category 5 cannot definitely not be ruled out um, but we will have to just have to wait and see what will happen I will be keeping you guys updated update 4 should be coming out later on this evening possibly around about 00 UTC um, so do watch out for that um, I'm tr going to try and see if I can maybe get that done a little bit earlier but I may wait just to see what the update says as of the next update which is at 2100 UTC um, which I will, cut, I will be in Basingstoke at that point so I will just keep an update uh, as what happens I will do a mobile update though if the storm does become a category 4 hurricane but that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, I'm sorry there wasn't any more graphics on it, uh, that's just due to time constraints as I do have an interview tonight so um, I've been, I'm only just able to do this graphic and sort of give you verbally what might happen. Um, so uh, sorry for that but there will be more graphics in the next update um, but that is it for this video uh, if you guys did enjoy this video please do smash that thumbs up button and subscribe stay safe everyone that is watching in the uh, uh, Caribbean area and see you guys next time this is the Alton News and Meteorological Service signing off